So mastering this resource as a data engineer can be really a game changer for your career. Welcome to the video. My name is Alexi and on this channel I cover all things Azure. And in today's video, I'm going to reveal you the top four picks out of all the Azure resources that every Azure data engineer should learn. In my opinion, these four resources are the cornerstone of Azure data engineering. So if you are Azure data engineer or planning to become one, you don't want to miss this one out. The number one on our list is Azure Storage Account. It's not an overstatement to call this the backbone of Azure data services. And now let's dive a bit deeper into why every Azure data engineer should master this resource. Azure Storage Account provides you a highly scalable, secure, and cost-effective solution for all your data needs. It's like your digital warehouse in cloud, where you can store everything from the raw data to very structured information. In a world where data is the new currency, Azure data engineers that can harness the power of Azure Storage are invaluable. Whether you're working with massive data sets or developing data-driven applications or ensuring data security and compliance, Azure Storage Account is your trusty companion. Also, in the Azure context, the storage account is an essential piece of the modern lakehouse architecture and can be used as the storage layer in that setup. And when speaking of lakehouse, this gets us into our second resource, which is one of my personal favorites in Azure, and that is Databricks. Databricks is an absolute powerhouse for data engineering, analytics, and machine learning. So mastering this resource as a data engineer can be really a game changer for your career. Cool thing about the Databricks is that it's not just limited to Azure, because it's found for the other cloud environments as well, like Google Cloud and AWS. So if I would have to pick one resource for Azure data engineers to master, it would be this one. I like to refer Databricks as the Swiss army knife of Azure data engineering, since combined with the storage account, you can basically build an entire data platform by just using these two resources as the backbones. And the modern lakehouse architecture is based on this idea that you can use Databricks as the compute layer and then the storage account as the storage layer for your entire platform. And I'll promise that I will be making videos about Databricks and the Lakehouse to this channel very soon. Even though Lakehouse trend has been going strong for past couple of years, we can't still neglect our third resource, which is Azure SQL Database. That is basically your fully managed SQL Server database in cloud. If you want very reliable and battle-tested resource as backbone of your data platform in Azure, this resource would be my recommendation. It might not be as flexible as Lakehouse built on top of a storage account using Databricks, but the reliability, security, and query speeds with this resource are top tier. So if you're looking to be a proficient data engineer who can manage structured data efficiently to ensure high availability and security, Azure SQL Database is a great tool to have in your toolbox. If you have watched this video this far, you might guess what is the fourth resource that is, in my opinion, very essential for Azure data engineers to learn. And that is, of course, my boy, Data Factory. I have entire playlist dedicated to Azure Data Factory on this channel. And if you're not familiar with Azure Data Factory, I would highly recommend to start from my introduction video to Azure Data Factory, because that goes through the basics of Azure Data Factory and will get you started with the resource. And that is all for today's video. Let me hear in the comment section down below, do you agree with my list or not? And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel for more Azure content. See you in the next video.